Hello everyone, this is DVO here, back on Autumn Oaks. So today, we need to take care of our animals. We need to pick up some feed for our horses. We will go water them quickly. And we'll go pick up some feed. Cattle look like they're doing good. So I really wanted to do another video on Midwest Horizons. And I was on there for hours trying to get... I have a extremely bad lag going on and I don't know what it is I don't know if it's the most recent update don't know if it's a mod I don't know exactly what's going on if it's just a bad mod I uploaded whatever it is it is basically creating that map almost completely useless. I'm getting down to the teens in frame rate, so extremely frustrating, but I haven't given up yet. So stick with me, I'm gonna still be trying. Don't know where water trough is. Is this the water trough? There we go. Very unique path here, so we definitely have to be careful not back into the building like we did. So yeah, try to back this up, and then I believe we have some horse hay, but we need to buy some oats because we don't have any planted, and it's going to be a while, so I want these horses to be nice and fed correctly. So after that, we gotta grind some hay for the horses and the cows. Don't know if we will purchase any pigs yet. I think we're gonna have to get more of a stock of feed, at least corn. here at the shop uh, they have a few pallets set out for us we got some chicken feed and some horse feed we'll get into their payloader here nice little payloader they have here hopefully this is able to pick up them little pallets Like butter. Get this over here. Just realized I probably don't have pallet forks back at the farm. That might be an issue. So I'm gonna probably have to purchase some pallet forks too. Uh, 
Uh, definitely gonna put some squat on that truck there. Didn't realize these bags were so heavy. Get this down. There we go. Very nice. They definitely made pallet moving easier in 19. At least I think so. Oh. Push that other pallet off there. Like we got the pallet stuck there. There we go. That was kind of hard, but we got her done. Let's park this in there, shop for them. Go purchase these bags and then we'll head back to the farm. We've got some squat on this truck. Head back to the farm quickly. Ooh, a little hairy there. Roads are a little bumpy, so if you watched the last video, we ended up mowing all of our grass off. We need to chop that or grind it more like it. So we're gonna, after we get the horses fed, the chickens fed, we're gonna get that grind up ground up. I got this flatbed. Might have to end up purchasing a wagon trailer. Might be more easier with the pallets. Transportation. Definitely going to have to figure out what we're going to do with pallet forts. Get one for one of the loaders maybe. Looks like our corn is about ready. So I don't think we'll have to grind that or chop that corn because I think we're gonna have plenty of uh, grass at least currently for cattle so we will end up combining it so we can get some pig feed I might have took the wrong route oh. might have took the wrong route for up here There we go. We got some oats to the horses, so they aren't starving. And now we will start grinding. Let's go and start this old hay grinder up, the hay buster. So, been trying this off screen, and basically, unfortunately, having a hard time getting these bales in these are all basically have to be hand put up in the grinder so we definitely have our work put out for us
So we are grinding up these bales very nicely. This is basically realistic because these little squares are made to be hand and moved I don't know why they're falling through we'll let that one grind up so it appears you have to do one at a time don't know why they're falling through like that definitely takes a little while for this grinder so back in the day we used to always uh, hire somebody out they'd come with a big grinder on a semi trailer they would have a big uh, graffle they would basically grind up the bales for us I think it was more of a homemade job don't know why these are falling through like that there that one working good so we are putting this into our hay barn here it's like some of these work their way out so this hay grinder is in the mod contest so definitely has a few kinks so it might not work great because of the small squares most grinders it might not be made it might be just made for large squares and round bales right now it's doing pretty good grinding up that bale don't know how efficient it is but it's Looks like it ground up that bale or it fell out one of the two So we will grab some of these and then we need to feed the horses and we will probably just feed them directly with the hay buster. So we'll put a whole bunch of bales in there. Hopefully this will work. Some of these bales on our trailer went wacky went everywhere get over here try to hopefully I'm getting some of these in there we look like we got a few we'll grab some of these and move them out of the way and I think we got our barn filled up already so that didn't take very long, that's for sure. This is going to be a, a perilous ride here. Let's get in here and hopefully this 
auger reaches all the way in there. This should be pretty efficient. Barely fits in there. Looks like we're running. So this is doing a pretty good job. Different way to feed the horses. Might have to end up putting some of them bales back in. Never go over a running PTO shaft. These fell out. Horses definitely are need a lot of grass. That's why I say I don't think we're gonna have to end up chopping our silage or silos. So we'll probably just end up using our grass field to the fullest. Don't know if. Must have filled the horses up. Let's look down here. No, they could still take some more hay. Well, how that bale got there. A little bit hard to keep this hay buster running. So in real life, sometimes the bales just scoot on out there sometimes too. So it's most likely because this hay buster isn't really used to the small squares. I could definitely use more hay, so we'll probably grab a few more bales bring them all up here definitely gonna have to clean up our mess down here we're not making Let's grab this bale we need another bale would like to get the horse is fully fed and we just lost bales all over the place grab this bale definitely getting our workout it's a sunny day hopefully it isn't too hot because we definitely sweating I think that bale's going to stay. There we go. Keep running this. Keep watching that horses. I'd like to just feed them fully with this hay buster. Definitely realistic in the fact of how much hay it actually produces in time. A little 
looks like maybe one at the most two more bales and we are good to go run that bale through looks like we'll call that good they're almost completely full There we go, got this hay buster all done. And we just need to pick up all of our bales that we made a mess with. Probably thinking we need to purchase a uh, overhang. Really didn't think about that when I was for this, for our hay thinking about maybe doing it right in this little corner over here A little overhang for the feed we go we purchased a little overhang here might have splurged a little bit needed something for our bale wagons and everything to pull under good place to leave this uh, hay buster get this park correctly there we go definitely need a clean up the farmyard a little bit take this old school bale wagon down definitely looking forward to seasons definitely gonna have to be watching out for a few things like bales on the field uh, grass hay getting dr dried uh, making sure we keep a close eye on the cattle so it's definitely going to be challenging at times because you're not going to be able to uh, not manage your farm correctly and cattle might pay for it severely or your livestock. Got a few more bales that were tossed over here that needs to be put in there. these bales. I don't know how it tossed them everywhere. One more bale. Oh man. Got a mess in here too. Get these bales cleaned up. Should be good for grinding at least for a little while. Would like to grow our cattle pretty quickly, so definitely gonna have to be challenging keeping up with these small squares. There we go, I think I got everything. Might be a tight fit right here.
take this back up to the house. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Looks like we need to get supper in our belly. And I will see you later on Autumn Oaks. Uh -huh.